My BFI player choice this week is an outrageous 1973 French-Italian classic, a four-course feast of a film about a group of people who decide to get together and stuff their faces until they die. If you're planning on having a meal, do it now, because believe me, you won't want to eat after watching La Grande Bouffe. <laughs> Je pense que tu es un Indien, ah. à Bombay, un petit Indien, ah. et que tu as faim. Ah. Et que tu as très faim. Ah. Si, tu as très faim, alors qu'est-ce que tu fais Tu manges. Ah. Allez. Ah. Tu y as pensé ah. Et alors ah. Mange encore. A gut-busting satire of the decadence, consumerism and disgusting desires of the bourgeoisie served up with a side order of infantilised male sexuality, La Grande Bouffe is an endurance-testing orgy of indulgence. Marcello Mastriani, Ugo Tognazzi, Michel Piccoli and Philippe Noire are the foursome who assemble for the eponymous buffet, while Andrea Ferrell is the buxom schoolteacher who becomes embroiled in their self-destructive games. Variously released around the world as La Grande Abufata or Blowout, La Grande Bouffe was co-written and directed by Marco Ferreri, who had previously made films like The Ape Woman, Dillinger is Dead and Ludienza, and who went on to helm Tales of Ordinary Madness and the Berlin Golden Bear winner The House of Smiles. A controversial cause celeb on its first release, Ferreri's most infamous feature has since become something of a cult classic, prefiguring such satirical culinary outrages as Peter Greenaway's The Cook, The Thief, His Wife and Her Lover, and the Mr. Creosote sequence from Monty Python's Meaning of Life. I remember introducing La Grande Bouffe as part of Film 4's Extreme Cinema Strand in the late 90s, where it sat neatly alongside such stomach-turning offerings as Pasolini's Solo and John Waters' Pink Flamingos. After all these years, the film still has the power to make you laugh, think, recoil, and occasionally gag. Enjoy. Thank you.